Right. Uh, I'm not going to obviously explain things that I've already explained um, unless it is particularly um, necessary. Um, right. Okay. I think we're good, aren't we? Uh, I'm going to do that. Oh, the skeleton's just firing at us over and over again. Uh, I would put a wood door on, but the zombies knock them down, so there's kind of no point really right now. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep digging, I guess. That's. I mean, basically, the first few hours are essentially uh, getting food production and digging. Um, what? Oh, yeah. That's going to... Yeah. Yeah. I've got a torch also, if you need another one. Right, that's fine. We need to get... Uh, how much wood have you got? I've got 12 planks. I'm just thinking of making a box, that's all. Uh, I got 10. I gave you half of what I had. I've still got 14 wood, though. Yeah, we need we need wood plank. We need 8 wood planks for a box, that's all. I'm just thinking we should make one. Put it next to the, the, the oven. Any of you need food? Because I've got two, one, and three steak on uh, me. I'm half down. I'm not starving yet, but I could use it. Uh, yeah, There's I, a common cool one for safekeeping. I'm missing... Uh, well, I have seven bars of hunger left, um, and I still have that one pork chop. I never actually ate it, so... There's another couple of mutton cooking. All right. And uh, and yeah, this isn't really a spin-off series. It's just it's a completely separate series, really, to the Mag and Mesh Minecraft one, because this is better than Wolves. It's a, it's a different game. Uh, right, and I don't have any wood. I don't know if anyone has any spare. Sorry, I didn't. How much you need? You said. Uh, just I just need some because I, I don't have any, so I just don't have any to make any more thingy. There's four right there. I do have. Um... Turn around. I do have a uh, wood I haven't turned into planks yet, though. Oh, right, well, t you can turn all the logs into planks. That's fine. Oh, okay. Just not don't turn all the planks into sticks, into shafts, basically. Um, if you can make a... <laughs> that looks class. I should do that, actually. I should do that myself on camera so everyone can see exactly how that works. Because it's quite funny. Um, you got all those, right? I got loads of planks. Yeah, I'm just. Okay. Gonna, I'll make a box. Um, there's two mutton in here. I'm gonna take them. Right, just hoi your stuff in the box. If basically hoi all your bark and your sawdust in the box. I've got a bit of black wool as well. I'll hoi that in there. Rotten flesh. Aye, uh, some other wool. Fl basically hoi all your shit in the box that you don't need right now. Nitra for a start as well. Leather. Um. Yeah, I mean, for now, we'll just keep everything communal. We'll have to keep everything joint. Um, but to be honest, since it's only us three, um, I'm just thinking maybe we should just build one town. Don't bother going off on our own. Just keep it all shared. I don't know if you're so fancy up for other few wanting to make stuff on your own. I know, I know we were talking about making our own place. I don't know if that's what you want to still do, Liquid. It's fine if you do, but... No, I'm, you know. I'm, I always plan to build with you anyway, really. Uh, yeah, okay, right, no worries. Alright, okay, um, and obviously... Oh have you hit a cave? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not a cave, I, th I think it's just water. Oh, is it? Yeah. But there could be someone in there, so we'll have to be careful. Um, okay, I'm going to eat this piece of mutton. Uh, pork chop, sorry. Uh, yeah, and, and basically, for a while, it's... The stuff's gonna be, uh. Oh god. Oh! That's outside. I can see outside there. Uh, we'll block that off. But, uh, that could be, uh. I mean, obviously. Well, water sources. Oh god. <laughs> everything. Almost everything we encounter, there's actually a difference between this and vanilla. Um, with water sources, you can't move. 
source blocks, you know, in vanilla, how you can get two buckets of water, you can put them diagonal, and you can make an infinite spring. Can't do that in this. Oh. Um, and you can't actually place source blocks at all. So if you pick up water with a bucket and then you put it on the ground, it just all runs and disappears away. Um, so you literally you can't move water with the bucket, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, you've got to channel the water and actually move it using the landscape. So you'll have to build channels in the ground to channel it in different uh, ways and aqueducts and stuff. Later on, you can get what's called a water pump, and you can actually pump water upwards. So you can pump it across, and you can actually make aqueducts above your town, and you can uh, transport water, basically, which uh, which is brilliant. Uh, so we've got no more food, have we? Uh, there's one thing in the... Uh chest and I've got three steak on me. I've got one mutton on me which should get me back up to full. So I'm about three quarters. And is that all? You don't have anything else? Take the chicken out of the chest. No, that's it. And have that. Um, there's no reason to keep your food level down. You want to keep it up but basically just be aware that uh, this food like mutton and steak I think it only I think it restores two pieces of hunger. Oh okay. I didn't want to so, eat it if I didn't need it yet. Yeah, you don't. So it's you two. don't. You do, um. I think is it. It's only two, isn't it? It's no more than two. So ba basically, if you overeat, uh, two and a bit. Right. If you overeat, you get fat. Um, and it appears you can see it on the hunger bars. It's like a little white border starts appearing around the hunger bars, uh -huh. and it starts at the right hand side. Basically, having a couple of layers of fat is actually a good idea because it helps you. It helps to stop you from starving. Because uh, what happens is, when you, as your hunger bars empty out, when a one that's covered in fat empties out, it then drains the fat of that bar. So you basically, it means your, last, your hunger lasts for longer, which is canny. Um, but you can't. If you get too fat, then you become. Uh, I think. I think you start. I think you become chubby, and uh, you can't sprint when you're chubby. So just be aware that. You don't want to get too fat. You can have up to like three or four bars of fat on you is is a nice amount. But obviously not right now because we don't have enough food to do it. So just be aware. Uh, right. Uh, make a castle. Yeah. Zombies that were a long way from being able to make anything aesthetically good, really. We need resources. We need iron, essentially. I'm tooled up. Ready for the Ready next tooled year. up. I'm not tooled up. I've been too busy explaining what's going on and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, right, right, right. <coughs> um, right, what's... Uh, right, just saw your name. You inspired Mrs. XCOM Sniper. Oh, yeah, clap, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, the game doesn't have horses, no. <laughs> Thank yeah, there's God. No ho there's no horses in this one. Um, what else? We've got still going to log in our backstory as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm out of wood now. Yeah, same. Oh, Didn't shit. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not out of wood at all, man. I've got plenty of wood. Uh, do you want any more? I Actually, gave you a few in my head. Is it daytime? Oh shit! It's raining. Okay, we're in. We're inside for a while more. Uh, what's the difference between What's the difference between rain and this one? Rain and is there what? any difference? The rain in this one to vanilla. I'm trying to list the differences between this and vanilla, so people well, don't. I'm not too knowledgeable vanilla about vanilla. I know mobs spawn in this rain, and it lasts for years. Well, mobs don't spawn in the rain. It's probably um, thunderstorms. That's the one. Yeah, mobs only spawn in thunderstorms. And uh, and this no this or is it heavy because he changed it. There's light rain and there's heavy rain, but basically heavy rain means that there's some thunderstorm coming, and heavy rain and thunderstorms basically because as you can hear you can't really hear the rain very much. It's quite light, but um, mobs will spawn in thunderstorms. But uh, mobs that have already spawned won't despawn in the rain. I think I don't a, know if that's the same as vanilla. Or I think not. a skeleton is shooting a creeper up there. No, the skeleton's trying to shoot us because he's, he's locked onto us as a target and so he's just shooting through the walls. That's what's going on. Hmm. Uh, right, uh, what else? Uh, I've got some... Actually, I've got some birch planks. I'm gonna. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. There. So you put your birch plank in, you put your stone axe in and you click that. And that's how you get uh, planks. 
Oh, and the axe is broke. How did you open so up that big crafting thing, thing you had earlier? Craft guide. Um, yeah. It's, I think it's G by default. Yeah, it is. To open it up. Ah, uh, right. <clears throat> Oh, you probably don't have the nice skin on it that I do because I I didn't give you the files. I made this me own skin for it. I don't have it either. I thought I did. Oh really? Mm. You must have installed it new or something. Yeah. Uh, right. So clear. Right. So basically, yeah. Craft guide. I mean, I'll show. That while it's raining, we can't go outside. Basically, we're stuck well, in here. Real quick, do you have so, sticks. Shaft sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There you go. I'll put uh, I'll put my spare wood in the. Uh, in the chest here. I've put some spare birch in there. And I've put uh, some spare oak as well. So anyone that needs that can just take it. Uh, just basically try and keep in the chest what you don't need. So try and build up a little bit of a supply of cobblestone as well. I'm going to put a few cobbles in there. Just as an emergency. Because remember if you die, all your stuff's gone. It basically, obviously it drops on the ground. But if, unless we're there to pick it all up, then it's gone. Um, right, and we've got, uh, we've got some... Uh -huh. Thing he's putting in there. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, and also mobs attack each other in this. Oh. Um, sometimes. sometimes, anyway. Sometimes they don't go for each other specifically, except animals. Passive animals um, get killed. Like spiders will go for. It'll try and get chickens. Um, zombies will attack uh, any other animals. So cows, sheep, pigs, they'll attack them. But zombies, oh wolves as well. Wolves will not only attack. Um, chicken and chickens, cows, any animal. Wolves will attack any passive animal when they're angry. And you can see they're angry because their eyes go red. But they'll attack them, but they'll also eat their meat as well at the job. That's why they attack them, because they're hungry. Wolves will only attack an animals when they're hungry. And then they eat the meat and then they're alright. So basically, it's, it's like a completely self-reliant ecosystem in a way. Uh, so the longer we stay here, basically the less passive animals there are going to be for us. Because everything else is killing them and eating them. Uh, so that's not good. How far back do we want to go with this? Um, as far back as we want, really. Uh -huh. I mean, this is basically, this is our cobble mine, essentially, so we want to try and keep it uniform. So, you know, it I mean... It could I'm always keep... become the mushroom farm in the end, anyway. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying, yeah. I mean, it probably is going to become it. Ah, oh, okay, it's thunderstorm now. Yeah, as you can see, it's heavy. Um, and there's a lot more lightning strikes, so we're safer indoors. <coughs> oh, but you get struck by lightning. Uh, you can, yeah. It's it's rare, but, you know, you can. It's possible. Um, right, later on we get windmills. Uh, yeah, I mean, this mod is actually fantastic. You're going to love it, Sticks. It's, I, I mean, obviously it may seem crap now, but once, I mean, the, the sense of it, the, the reason it's like this is because it's a tech tree. There's a very, very tightly balanced tech tree and uh, as you progress through it the sense of ro the, the what is it the sense of achievement you get is unreal at this mod it's it's just absolutely incredible uh, right I've got to uh, we don't have any more coal do we I'm just I want to go yeah. into that lake that's all and kind of help it uh, right Right, I'm going to keep digging as well. Um, I'm just trying to keep up with the chat as well. Alright, everyone's just chatting random shit. It's not specifically... Stuff that's fine, uh, and yes, it's a new Mesh Does Minecraft series. We've got 31 people watching. Is that true? Is that actually what's happening? Yeah, it blew up after wow. you did the uh, Steam thing. Nice, okay, well, that's good. Minecraft must be popular. Minecraft is popular. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got randoms from Twitch as well because I think Minecraft's really popular on Twitch, uh, right? And you know what? I'm probably gonna have to do a um, tutorial video later on to like kind of bring people up to speed who aren't watching the thingy, you know what I mean? Like an overview of the mod. Jesus, I don't know how you would even do it. Oh, shit! Okay. Uh, uh, don't want to go out there. That's the, that's the outer wall. Go to the cave. Uh, yeah. We want to light up that cave. That's a top priority as well because we're getting mobs coming out of there and we can't be doing that. 
How's your food situations? I'm uh, I'm on seven bars of hunger and I've got two pieces of mutton. What about I'm your steak? What about I'm your steak? I'm six and a half. Um, Do you have any food? Uh, yeah, I got one, one leg, one chicken leg. Right. right, just just obviously, just I mean, even moving about um, causes you to lose hunger, but it basically it shows you. If something's draining hunger quick, because you, your hunger bar shakes, he's added that in recently, actually. So, um, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, there's not much we can do other than just keep mining stone. But like I say, we're running out of wood, so uh, yeah. I made an extra axe, so I should be good for tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, generally the rule of, rule of thumb is have. Um, for general walking around, not even going out specific, doing specific tasks, you want two axes, uh, two or three pickaxes, and two shovels. You always want a spare of each one. Um, and then obviously if you're going out mining, you want to basically take about nine or ten pickaxes and enough stone and enough wood to make more as you go, because obviously you can only, um, it only works for six um, attacks, so, you know, never attack anything with a pickaxe, because it's six attacks as well, so if you hit a mob with a pickaxe, you're going to do need damage to it, and you're going to just break your pickaxe, so always use the axe to kill a mob. Are you going bother making swords? Uh, we can only make iron swords, you can't make stone, uh. wood, or anything like that, so, and, and another thing, I might as well tell everybody now, that iron, um, it, it comes out as nuggets, not ingots. So when you mine an iron ore, it's, that's equal to one nugget. And obviously you need nine nuggets to make one ingot. So basically if we want to make an iron sword, we need to find 18 pieces of iron. Um, but we're a long way from doing that because the first, the top priority uh, for iron, well, it's debatable, but I like to make uh, shears first. Is it shears we make first? Shears or a hoe, yeah. Oh, shears or a hoe, yeah. Hoe was, is obvious for farming. Um, but shears, basically, you can uh, castrate the creepers. <laughs> <laughs> um, essentially, in this mod, the, the backstory is that the creeper's explosion, the power of the explosion comes from its bollocks. So if you can chop its balls off, it won't explode. <laughs> so you can essentially have creeper pets, which is brilliant. Uh, and we'll, we'll, you'll see, it's it's even got a great little um, texture associated with it as well. <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing thinking about it. It never gets old either. That never gets old. You can go out with the shears and you can just snip a load of creeper in the hilarious. So basically, yeah, sheep has dropped what's called creeper oysters. And uh, they're essentially creeper balls. Testicles. And um, you can use them to make explosives. And uh, a few other things as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but, oh, stop raining. It stopped raining. I'm going to get myself a few um, extra tools and I'm ready to go, me. Like, are you ready to go? Um. Yep. Oh, wow, we've got a nice collection of stone here, like. Right, um, animals, basically. We need animals. I got a bunch of uh, saplings to plant too. Should I plant them right out front here or away a bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, leave enough space between them so they've got room to grow. But uh, but yeah, yeah, we'll plant them out the front. Hold on, is it getting dark? Ah, oh, shit, I think it's getting dark, you know. Oh, can I run out there and plant these real quick? Uh, I wouldn't chance it as a spider about. I mean, sh should we kill that spider? We've got enough food now, haven't we? Oh shit, he's probably going to come in now. Here he comes. He wants you, Sticks. Come out here. Don't, oh, no, don't! Oof. Right, got him. No, that was easy. There's a skeleton coming as well. Oh, there's, there's another spider on top. Hey, come back in. Uh, let, let me know. Come back. Uh, yeah, you might want to come. Well, I don't know. Where's the skeleton? No, no, come back in. Come back in. It's dark. It's dark. We don't want to go out there yet. Alright, I got two planted. Right. 
That's canny, yeah. All right, we need to... Well, I mean, obviously, saplings aren't a great concern because we're surrounded by forests, so that's all right. So, um, but we do need the saplings. Anyway, I got two string out of this, out of the, um, out of the spider as well, so we can make a ball at some point. Is this? Um, is this open? It is. Ah, it is. It's open. We found something here. We need. Ah, I don't like it. Let's block it up for now. Um, and we, we need we need more um coal basically. So. Um. Well, which way do we go? Because we can't go do back. We, we can't go torch? left. We, we can't could, go. We could explore that little watery thing in here. I don't have a spare torch, no. I mean, we might be able to get rid of taking this. Get, oh, we can get away with that, I think, can't we? I'm going to bring this one across a bit. Uh, no, I don't like that idea. Someone else has picked that up. I have. Right, that's fine. Yeah. That's a bit dark, like, but uh, basically if one of us... Hang on. Um... This one can go over a little bit. Put that one there. Okay. That's too dark. Put that there. There, that. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. I can't believe torches are a resource like positioning. <laughs> right. Okay. Um. Is that outside? Because I can see grass. Like. Yeah, it's outside. I don't think we've got the torches to really light this up, to be honest. Yeah. We've only got what? No, we'll we'll wait. We'll wait. We can't yeah. really. Uh, we start digging down, so we can't really go any other direction. Oh shit! Don't know what the hell that was. Um, right. Um, no, we, we we keep we we use this as the mushroom farm, so we keep this flat. We keep it two blocks high, and and we keep it flat. Uh, and this will be the mushroom farm when we do find mushrooms. Because out that way will be the uh, the side of that cave, won't it? Ah, right, but that doesn't matter. That'll be all right. We're just gonna keep this lit as we go. Um, right. Oh shit. Okay, this is outdoors. This here, I think. I think this is back the back of that cave. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We can't dig yeah. that way. No, we can. We can dig that way. I'm, I'm, I'm out of dirt, like. Um, I got dirt. You can combine dirt slabs back into dirt as well. Just FYI. Um, right. Well, what we'll do is we'll we'll try and uh, block up the side of it just like that, and we'll put a roof on. Can you put a roof up there? You see where I've put that dirt block? Yep. Did I put oh, this? Wait, another one. Right. Uh, we need another one. Have you got another one for that? Right. Okay. They're all complaining they're not paying attention in chat. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Are they actually? What's happening? I think Revan's stirring something up. Is he? Better run creepers first tongues and thingies than balls. I mean, if anything, if anything eventful happens in chat, then obviously feel free to bring it up. Uh, but I mean, I'm I'm concentrating as well, so I'm kind of like, oh shit, uh oh, uh oh, shit, shit, right. shit. There could be anything above there. There could be a creeper or anything. Right. Okay. I, I do, I'm not paying attention to the chat as it happens because I've got to really concentrate. Because if I die, the stream takes a very, very upsetting turn essentially. Because <laughs> if any one of us dies, we become separated, and we could be separated for hours, for the rest of the night. To be honest, so. You, Essentially, if if I die, it's then a single player playthrough. <laughs> um, did you did you block that with that or? No, no, that that needs to come down. I, okay. You can't place stone yet. It's. Oh. Uh, you've got to cook stone in the furnace. So. Just be, be aware of like. Uh, have you got any spit? Can you give us a couple of pieces of dirt just so I've got some things to place? That's all the dirt I got. All right. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Just when you're digging through, make sure that the roof is intact, because there's a couple of a couple of places we're digging through, and the roof's not intact. Uh, right. So what's what's going on with the chat? Q 
keep digging. Mesh didn't reply. I was wondering why Mesh wouldn't answer. What's the question like? Can you ask the question again. But yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, rather than, I mean, obviously, yeah, I'm going to still interact with the chat because it's still a live stream, but generally when we're playing this, it's going to be like, we're going to be playing. So it's going to be less, in, I mean, not as much as like with Far Cry and stuff and Juice X, because with this, you can't pause it. Um, the only time I can really interact with the chat is obviously when I'm inside doing this, but even when you're inside in the early game, I mean, it'll be get lit better later on. But in the early game, you've got to have really have your wits about you. Because you've got no armor, one creeper explosion, you're dead. It's set to hard difficulty as well, which you're not supposed to do in Better Than Wolves. It's actually balanced for normal. But we like an extra challenge on top of Better Than Wolves. <laughs> We're hardcore. We're hardcore, yeah. So basically, I mean, obviously it says in the title of the stream, so, you know, hello. Can't right. See what's out there? Oh, that's grass, so that's outdoors. Oh, no, there was a zombie right there. Right, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, for for um, for regular viewers of this series, you're going to be in for a hell of a treat. Like, I mean, if you like Minecraft, and obviously you like to watch Minecraft playthroughs, I mean, this is this is like a cut above. I'm not talking about my commentary or our commentary. I mean, we're shit, but you know, the actual game is incredible. I mean, we can't even get too heavily into it right now because there's so much that's different it's just y y it would take literally about two or three hours to explain the whole thing like it's it's nuts um but it's it makes the game so much better and i can guarantee that at least some of you will actually be wanting to install this um before long because it's it's just such a good game this is a this is a grassy area here it's outside yeah, well, no, yeah, yeah, I know. We need a, uh, we need some gla uh, glass as well, so we can see when it's night time. Right, okay, um, let's catch up with the chat then. Uh, this is easy compared to Blood and Bones mod pack. Well, it's you know, I don't know. I haven't really played that many other mods, but I mean, this isn't it. Isn't just about the difficulty. This this mod. Um, it's about the actual, well, the mod itself. It's, it's just it's just the features that it has. It's all tied together and it's all balanced. Um, right, so, so the server play on permadeath, and when you die, you have to wait for everyone else to die so you can play on a new map. No, that's not how it works, Clap. Basically, what happens when you die is um, you you spawn in a random area, anywhere but within 3,000 blocks of the original spawn. It's called Hardcore Spawn. Uh, it, it, the, the mod has various hardcore modes in it, um, they're not optional. You've, you've, they're all enabled, but basically, it's it's essentially to to differentiate it away from uh, vanilla. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of different hardcore modes. I mean, you can read them if you if you search Google for "better than wolves" hardcore modes, you probably need to get the wiki up and it lists them all, just to give you an idea. But um, yeah, you essentially when you die, you spawn at a random location, so your world's still there, everything's still intact. But you're in a different part of it, and you basically your objective then becomes to either get back to where you were, or um, or basically just start a new life where you are. And most of the time, it's it's good just to start a new life because you don't know where you you don't know where you are, like you don't know where to go, and you know you don't know which direction you're in. You know what I mean? So it's you're normally best just to start again, at least at least for the for the beginning to get yourself um, established and stuff. Right. I do not know it's daytime again. You've got to dig out. Oh, shit. Oh, what? shit. What, what is that? It's a skeleton. Shit, I took some damage there. You got an arrow sticking out your head. Right. Have I? <laughs> yeah. What do you, how do you do with the... Um, is it F6? No. Oh, there it is. Uh, there's the arrow. Oh. What is it? How do you jump it's out? It's F5 to go into uh, third-person mode. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so you know it's daytime because the mobs just burned up. You just heard that. So that's when you it's safe to go outside. But not quite because sometimes it can be creepers above your head. So you've got to be careful. And I'm going to wait a liquid comes back oh, anyway. All oh, right, okay. And I want to just quickly catch up with the chat as well. Um, why didn't why you didn't play Enemy Within? I'm playing Enemy Within now. 
Um, I've started a new XCOM game just offline on my own, and I'm playing Enemy Within, and I'm loving it. It's actually really, it's a lot of fun. Um, but I'm not planning on recording, I'm not going to record that one at all. Because it would be me, I mean, I, I love doing the XCOM series. <laughs>